writing papers, it is often required to have page numbers and the student's name somewhere in the paper. To add a header and page number, all we have to do in Word is to double click the top of the page right here. And from here, we're going to go to page number and we're going to do top of page. And typically, the page number should be on the right hand side. And we're going to close the footer. And now you'll notice that we'll have page numbers. To add your name next, you should type in your name. We'll just do student for now. And that's going to have everything appear along with the new page number. However, what you should avoid is putting in the numbers manually. Because you'll notice if I put it in manually, it will just say one throughout. So we're going to remove that and we're going to go back to adding our page number. And we'll put our name and there we go. One thing to note is that most professors do not want the page number and the name appearing on the title page. They actually want to remove this. So what we need to do is we need to double click the header again and we're going to click on different first page. Now that's going to be removed. However, now we have a new problem. If we scroll all the way down, we'll see that it says student two. In order to fix the numbering so that this is a one, we can kind of trick the Word document to do something. So when we double click here and we go to page numbers and we go to format page numbers, what we can do is we can actually start it at zero. So what happens is, is that the page number right here is actually zero. And when we scroll down, now this is starting at one. In order to add headers and page numbers to Google Docs, all we have to do is go to insert page numbers and we're going to click this button right here. Now, if you want to have a different first page, you can. We're going to unclick this one and we're going to just type in our last name. And now we'll have student or whatever your last name is here and we're going to have all the headers correctly down. However, in most cases, we do not want this appear on the first page. So what we're going to do is we're just going to remove all of this stuff and start over. In order to have our page numbering start here and avoid the first page, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to insert and go over to page numbers and we're going to go right to more options. We're going to check mark this off and not have it show on the first page and we're going to start the numbering at zero. Here we can see that it starts at one and there's nothing appearing right here. This is because the computer thinks that this is page zero and now here's one. And all we have to do is just add our name and now we have our proper heading. Mm -hmm.